For many teens, earning a license and driving to school has become a rite of passage. But for some Gregory students, that right no longer exists. I had waited forever to get my license, and the, the very next day I went, first thing in the morning, I went straight into the SBO, and I was very excited to get my parking permit and to be able to start driving myself to school and to be independent, and then I go in and they tell me that I can't. The SBO stopped issuing parking passes three weeks ago. The reason? Parking spaces are maxed out. I started having parking issues like a few months ago. Uh, there was this one time I got to school a bit late and yeah, there were no parking spots and I didn't know what to do so uh, I called my dad. After like spending 30 minutes trying to look for a spot, he told me to come home and then I dropped my car off. Uh, my dad dropped me off at school and then I got to school at like 8.50. Approximately 350 passes were issued to students this school year but administration admits they do not know how many passes are currently in use. This is because many passes issued in previous years are still in play. But that number is anyone's guess. This is a new problem. According to Assistant Principal Craig Springer, the parking lot has never before reached its capacity. So what we're finding out is there's more parking passes out there than spots, and we're still getting passes from last year, two years, and three years ago. We've kind of hit a saturation point Going forward, adjustments will need to be made until parking spots are available. Unfortunately, we can't have them drive here because there's no spots to, to put them in. Talk to friends, carpool, and those that have passes, what we're telling them is make sure you don't park illegally. We'll help you find, you know, temporary parking. It might be a staff spot, it might be a visitor spot, it might be, you know, on a curb. But don't take it upon yourself just to park. you got to tell us that you can't find a spot because if you park in a red zone, you're still going to get a ticket. So just, you know, if you can't find a spot, call your SLC office. We'll direct you to where you can go to park safely for the day. For those who have received tickets, be sure to follow the mailing directions on the back to ensure it gets taken care of properly. We try to take it every day, but, you know, different days have different things happening, and it's, but it's part of our regular schedule. The primary issue has been recognized, and there is currently an efficient solution in action. And part of the problem is with the old pass, we had no way to dedicate from year to year. So while we're switching to a newer pass, that's going to almost expire. And these haven't been expiring. These have been going on to maybe a brother or sister to graduate, cousin to graduate. So there's cars out there that have gotten passes that are not really registered, which is causing us to have too many cars on the campus. The transition to the new pass is starting with this year's juniors, who are able to switch out their old passes with the new ones. I think with what we put in place, it's going to take care of itself. Um, you know, but. Our enrollment keeps growing, so as the enrollment keeps growing, you know, it may have to, we may have to cut off parking again just because there's not enough physical spots. Reporting for JNN, this has been Cecina Aldava and Kelly Kiernan.